Wakey, wakey, rise and shine. What will we be putting in our mouths today? Shut up, Ben. Twas the fridge can before Christmas, and poor little Ben had planned all year round to get his revenge. Hello. 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 And welcome to our Christmas cup. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, everyone. Ben, how on earth does this work? Very simple. I'm going to ask you guys general knowledge questions around food that have a festive theme. Oh. And for every mm -hmm. question you get wrong, you have to place the ingredient into the blender. If you get it right, you can nominate and put it in somebody else's blender. And at the end of the round, you have to blitz up all of the wrong answers and drink. Great. I'm going to start with Mike. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In the song, 12 Days of Christmas, which present is left until last? Technically, left last is a partridge in a pear tree because at the end of the song, it finishes with a partridge in a pear tree. Great! I thought it was drummer's drumming, so I've got your partridge drumstick. I think technically he got the answer I think he did right. get it right. Yeah. In that case, pretend that's the leg of a partridge and you can nominate it into either the other two blenders. I love you both. <laughs> oh, you're dividing. Oh, and one for you. Question for Barry. You hear me? What would you be drinking if you had Gluvine? Um, warm wine. Yeah, of the mold variety. Oh, yeah. So I haven't warmed it up, but that is some mold wine there. It's very tasty. Oh, it's very nice. You can place it in either Mike or Jamie's blender. Don't, you know, no, of course. No. <laughs> Chicken and mold wine. Jamie, a question for you. Grab me. Pardon? No, no. Which type of sweet bread loaf originated in Milan? I've got this, I've got this. Was it a panna cotta? I think we have to accept your first answer. Oh, <laughs> oh, idiot. That, that and mulled wine. wine. Yeah, oh, good. Back to you, Mike. Yeah. What fruit is traditionally gifted at Christmas as it represents the act of sharing? An orange. More specifically? Uh, clementine. Correct. Oh, yeah. Barry? Duck a la orange. <laughs> <laughs> With chicken. Barry? In 2006, what ingredient doubled in sales figures in the two weeks leading up to Christmas thanks to one Christmas TV show? You use this example all the time because you love Delia so much. I know, like a pomegranate or something. Oh! I don't know. 2006, it was Nigella with goose fat. Mm. It just it makes all... amazing roast potatoes. I'm sure. Alborus, Brody, and Cryptus are all types of what? They, are, they must be all types of Gonna have to rush you. Holly. Ooh, that Ooh. edible food source, Holly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well done. These are just three of over a hundred different varieties of sprouts. Yours is busy, mate. <laughs> As ever, busy. big portions. <laughs> yeah. You're doing great. I know, I've got nothing in my chopper. <laughs> in the lead up to Christmas and during Advent, the 15th of December is often overlooked, but what day should we be celebrating? Oh, well, that's Mike's <laughs> birthday, obviously, <laughs> but I'm not giving that as my answer. Um, I really have no idea. Ow! Listen, it, Ben. National Cupcake Day. <laughs> that's got nothing to do with Christmas. It's on the 15th of December in the lead up to Advent. Don't unwrap it. <laughs> Don't, yeah. All in. All in. It's fine. <laughs> all part of the answer. He has to eat it all. Fair. Your turn, Bears. Yep. Which Christmas food is it considered good luck to eat one of on each of the 12 days of Christmas? Ah. I'm going to say some sort of mint. You are close to the first three letters. It's a mince pie. Nice. What, every day? The name of which festive spice comes from the Latin word for nail? Da, do, de, de, da, do, do, nutmeg. It is clove. You can choose how many you put in. In Eastern European countries such as Poland and Hungary, it tends not to be meat served at Christmas, but instead fish. Which is the most traditional fish served at Christmas? Oh no! Mackerel. How about no? It is cop. You're a Christmas t <laughs> Your cupcake and fish smoothie is looking great. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> James, 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 James! Oh. Oh. 
I'd really like to know what's been happening on Sorted Food this week. Would you? And also, why you feel it necessary to have a AAA battery in your left pocket. We did a mystery box. Yes, we did. We did. Um, crispy golden nuggets. But um, people were more interested in Mike's nipples, weren't you? And was there a big night in on Friday? Yeah, it's just as well you're not heavy, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yes, there was. Um, you cooked up a meringue wreath. I did. Do you know I cooked it and then I put it on my jumper. But don't tell me we've only been doing videos this week, James. We haven't, Jamie. We've Good. been doing articles, we've been doing playlists, we've been talking about coffee, we've been talking about Christmas. It's all unsorted food. Go look. I've got a comment of the week. Excellent, I love comment of the week. It's probably one of my favourite features. Shut up. It's, um, it's from our Three Easiest Pastries video. I was in that video. The best thing You were in that, that video. video, shut up. Was how it's from Jessica Paisley and she says, very nice, classy but simple. Excellent. And Squeaky has chimed in and corrected her. Classy but flaccid. <laughs> Believe me, there is nothing flaccid about this fridge cam. Go away now. Stop making those noises. Go away! Every year since 1947, Norway have gifted the tree to Trafalgar. Segway. In Norway, the <laughs> national drink of Aquavit is often consumed at Christmas and during the festivities. What is the prominent flavour of said spirit? Peach. Ooh. Peach nuts. No. <laughs> it is caraway. I think it needs a generous pinch. Generous, don't, don't, generous don't. pinch. No! It's like fish. Oh. And last question for Jamie. Because I'm on such a winning No, don't put catties for candy in it. <laughs> Moving just beyond Christmas, as the clock chimes midnight to ring in the new year, a Spanish tradition involves eating 12 of what? Spain's really great at making Rioja. Rioja is a type of wine. Wine is made from fermenting grapes. The answer has got to be Paella. I love the logic, and I don't know if you knew that at the top of the show, but that is very impressive. I love the logic. They eat 12 grapes. So I want a grape, like... please. I beg <laughs> you. I have a grape. Huh? Blend them up and then we'll have a drink. Mate, yours really smells of um, candy cane, doesn't it? <laughs> Do you want a spoon with your spoon? I can look at it. Oh. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh. Merry Christmas. So a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from all here at Sorted and me and my beard.